this pilot is motivated by a problem and an opportunity. So the potential problem, at least, is low household savings rates and, um, and high debt loads and high leverage all right, and, and great reliance on debt and often expensive debt um, to deal with emergencies and, uh, and bad shocks that hit households. And indeed, um, sort of looking over the life cycle in particular, the highest and safest return investment available to many, very many households is paying down expensive debt and accelerating one pay down of, uh, of expensive debt. That is the, the quickest, surest, and most impactful route to uh, increasing one's savings rate, making it less negative, uh, possibly, and increasing one's wealth over time. All right, so that's the, that's the opportunity. All right, our potential solution is to use uh, principles from behavioral economics to help people make good decisions and to stick to those decisions to pay down their uh, expensive debt. All right? And the approach we're taking is to adapt uh, the very successful model of save more tomorrow. All right? So instead of saving more tomorrow, we're trying to help people borrow less tomorrow. All right? And so the way, um, the, the way Bolt is structured is uh, as, as an intervention or as a product with a suite of features, is that we try to help consumers identify whether this product is a good fit for them, namely whether they have uh, a, a, an expensive debt that's suitable for paying down quicker. We try to help consumers craft a sensible uh, repayment schedule that will allow them to pay down this expensive debt more quickly. Uh, we offer uh, uh, we offer clients the option of enlisting uh, peer supporters or referees as a, as a form of social commitment device. All right? So in other settings and in other projects, um, uh, my co-authors and I have experimented with forms of harder commitment, financial commitment, when, when, when people are interested in uh, saving more or quitting smoking. Uh, we give people the opportunity to put their own money on the line as a form of commitment, sort of a performance bond type approach. That doesn't work as well or make as much sense in the debt reduction space because people presumably are highly leveraged because they're cash constrained. Right? And so they don't have the available liquidity to post that performance bond. And so instead, we give them the opportunity to post a social performance bond and get their peers involved in, in helping them stick to this plan that uh, we're helping them make to pay down their debt more quickly. All right, and then we send them reminders as they go along. All right. And so our year one project was basically to um, uh, make some inroads into figuring out whether this type of approach, whether a product with this suite of features uh, could work. And so the first things we had to address, of course, as with any new product launch, is, um, well, can we get suppliers to offer this thing? All right? And does it run well when they do offer it? Um, when we offer something that looks like this, do, uh, do people want to take it? What's the take-up rate? All right? And then, of course, you know, uh, being social scientists who are committed to actually figuring out whether our theories and our principles work in practice, um, we test uh, Bolt's uh, effectiveness. So whether Bolt works, and, we'll, and, 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 and we test this using uh, randomized control evaluation. And so we test both whether Bolt is working to reduce debt loads and improve overall financial condition, and also our research is set up to shed light on why or why not Bolt works or, or doesn't. So which of the many features of the Bolt product seem to drive any changes in outcomes that we see, and also the um, uh, getting at the issue of segmentation. You know, so who wants Bolt and who benefits more from Bolt uh, when they take it? All right, and so our research is set up to address all these questions, um, given that we only have uh, uh, basically half a year under our, our, our belt at this point. Um, we have more to say about the viability piece than the effectiveness piece. All right, and so that's mostly what I'll be focusing on today. All right, so viability of this thing. Um, the, the, the early returns on, on viability are, are, are encouraging. All right, so we found a, uh, we, we, we found a partner 
to uh, to offer Bolt in in year one on a tight time frame, even though that we were requiring randomized field testing as part of the package. All right, and so we we did this. The 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 results I'll be presenting today are all based on this year one pilot project with the uh, community action project uh, of Tulsa, uh, which is a, a social service agency. Uh, they worked with us uh, with IPA to offer. Bolt to clients who were coming in to get free uh, tax preparation services. All right, so that was sort of our our retail channel. All right, um, going forward uh, in uh, in the current year and in future years, we're working to add several uh, additional distribution channels. All right, so retail again, and by retail, um, this is retail in the sense that uh, the research team was actually quite involved in a very hands-on way in implementing and, and operating the, 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 the product, both at the point of sale and going forward. But there are also opportunities, um, we're also in the, um, uh, in, in the midst of, of implementing opportunities to offer this wholesale, where we basically give uh, uh, an, an institution the uh, the the ideal and a frame the the idea and a framework for testing, and they operate uh, uh, the product going forward. All right, and so we're working with several different types of uh, of 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 institutions uh, to do that this year. All right, and it's and uh, and and one reason we're optimistic about being able to scale this up is Bolt is a very natural sort of add-on value-added piece that credit counseling agencies and, and other types of counseling or coaching agencies uh, can, can offer on top of what they're doing already. All right. And so um, operationally, you know, the other, uh, another key piece of our, of our pilot here is figuring out how to uh, operate this thing uh, cost effectively going going forward. So both marketing and and, and ongoing operations. Um, so I already talked about you know so there's natural channels for for marketing this um, as as add-ons to what uh, nonprofits and even some financial institutions are are, are doing already. Um, and there's certainly room for improvement on pre-screening and segmentation. Another key piece um, in 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 operating Bolt is uh, monitoring success or, or failure in sticking to the client's plan. All right? And so we had um, our, our notion up front was to do this by getting permission up front from clients to do soft pulls of their credit reports. All right? But this is sort of a, a brave new world uh, uh, for us. And, it, and, and, and one of the things we learned in year one is that you know, subject to uh, uh, subject to having some room for improvement, you actually can do this. So you can, uh, you, can, uh, I, you can work with someone to identify whether they have a debt that's suitable for the product up front, and then do soft pulls going forward to see whether they're making the payments that they pledged to make when they, uh, when they signed up for a bolt repayment schedule. All right, so that's been working pretty well with room for improvement. Uh, and then another issue is, you know, when, uh, when people enlist peer supporters, do those peer supporters uh, get on board and stay on board, all right? So when you call a peer supporter four months in because someone, because a Bolt client has fallen off track, do, do they answer the phone, you know? Or do, or do they answer the phone and say, who the heck are you? You know, the, um, this person you're, you're telling me about uh, never, never said anything to me about helping them stick to this repayment plan. All right, and so, and again, with room for improvement, um, we've uh, we, we've had su some success in in reaching peer supporters. All right, so the um, so to a first approximation, the product uh, is working uh, as we uh, in envisioned and hope operationally, just in terms of a day to day. All right, so backing up, when you build it, do people come? When you offer them a product that looks like this. Um, do they actually want to take it up? And so the results on this are also pretty encouraging. So we got a 20% take up rate among these uh, free tax prep uh, clients in, in Tulsa. And this was without doing any pre-screening um, uh, for, for, for whether folks had high interest debt that would be uh, suitable for the product or not. All right, and so 20% take up rate on a new product. Anyone who's ever launched a new product, I, 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 I think knows that that's 
um, you know, that's, that's cause for, for optimism going forward. Um, we also had a 50% take up rate um, on the peer support feature um, in cases where we offer peer support. So again, this is something that at least up front, um, people in our target market broadly defined um, at least perceive as potentially having value. All right, and so going forward, we're going to be working hard uh, to do some uh, segmentation and, and target marketing. One thing we build in to our, our research design and to our marketing is a lot of baseline data collection on various types of consumer characteristics that um, we'll be able to use for uh, segmentation going forward. All right, and so when people take, when people take up Bar Less tomorrow, what do they try to do or what do they intend to do? All right, and so we focused in this implementation on, uh, on expensive credit cards and expensive, uh, relatively expensive auto loans, all right? And we had a, a, about 60% of those who, who took up uh, uh, used Bolt for credit cards, about 40% for auto loans. Um, you can see that the, uh, uh, the, the interest rates on these debts were in fact relatively high, certainly, certainly higher than uh, than anyone, than, than anything anyone could reasonably expect to get um, on the asset side of their, their, their balance sheet. And the plans um, we help people make to accelerate their repayment were, um, were somewhat modest in the sense that, you know, the average planned reduction, the av average planned increase in monthly payments were about 20 bucks a month, all right? Although when you uh, add this up, over time, this can have a substantial impact on how quickly people get out of debt. Okay. And so now our, our very preliminary results on how people are performing, how people are, 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 are doing under Bolt. And so after six months, 29% of people who took Bolt are, are still on schedule. All right. And I'll talk in a minute about whether that's, that's high or low. All right, 59% of Bolt users um, at least made one scheduled payment. And so are these proportions low or high? I mean, so one reason why my next slide is gonna be about randomized control evaluation is we don't know whether these proportions are low or high. It, it, depends, on, it, it, it depends critically on the, on the counterfactual. It depends critically on, on how difficult it is for people to uh, to get out of debt in the absence of an intervention like this, all right? And so I think there's a useful analogy to smoking. You know, so there are many, many smokers out there who want to quit smoking, all right? Yet, and are serious about quitting smoking, yet most quit attempts fail. So a successful anti-smoking intervention is one that increases quit rates by, you know, one or two percentage points. All right, because the baseline level of quitting, even among people who are serious about quitting, uh, is, uh, is, is so low. All right? And so one thing we're going to learn from this project is sort of what is the baseline level of, uh, of, of people uh, getting out of debt or paying down their, their, uh, their debt more quickly. All right? And so we do this by implementing uh, a randomized control field test. All right, and so we, uh, um, uh, we're doing this uh, with, a, uh, with, with a couple of different types of treatments. All right, one is whether we offer Bolt in any form at all uh, to, uh, to, uh, to a client um, who we interact with or who you know, last uh, tax season CAP interacted with. All right, and so we can then compare, uh, uh, we can compare the performance as measured by various metrics from credit reports going forward of those who were offered some version of Bolt the, to those who were not offered Bolt. All right, and we, um, and we work uh, with, with CAP like we work with all of our implementing partners to, to come up with a way to randomize these offers in a way that's not disruptive to the day-to-day -day operations of the service provider or the product provider. All right, and so the outcomes we're going to be looking at are uh, credit score, uh, change in credit score, change in the various types of balances we're interested in, of course. And um, going forward, one challenge for improving our, our statistical power is uh, constructing an account level control group match, 
all right, that allows us to basically do the type of analysis of, okay, let's, 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 let's take the guys who did not take up Lolt and construct some counterfactual of the debt that they would have used both for. All right, so because we're interested, um, you know, we're, we're interested in two different types of outcomes. One are sort of more global outcomes measuring credit condition and financial condition, but another one is sort of success or failure in paying down the debt that was targeted um, as, as, as part of this product intervention. All right, and so our, um, our results thus far um, in, in terms of rigorously measuring these impacts are quite preliminary because we did this, again, we did this last tax season. So we're just getting, uh, we're just getting our sort of six month uh, data in on a lot of our folks. And the results so far are, are, are suggestive of, uh, of uh, moving in the right direction in, in, in terms of we're seeing some suggestive evidence that debt loads um, are in fact falling. All right, but it's, um, those results are quite preliminary. All right, and so, great, one minute on my last slide. Um, so go, go, going forward um, in year two and, and, and beyond, um, there's still work to do in terms of improving the, the efficiency of how Bolt is implemented and, and, and operated, and of course we're gonna be looking to, uh, to scale this up. You know, one of the exciting things about uh, Save More Tomorrow is that uh, it, it was quite scalable and has been, been scaled up. And what we are trying to accomplish here is sort of a debt reduction, mass market, uh, very scalable uh, analog uh, to what Save More Tomorrow has, has accomplished. Um, and so as we scale up, uh, this benefits the research as, uh, as well. We'll be building sample both to test sort of the core product as well as the, uh, the various individual features of the product. Um, uh, as we add to our sample, we'll, we'll also be able to do more on segmentation and, and heterogeneity. Um, we're also gonna be looking for opportunities to extend uh, Bolt's purview beyond credit cards and auto loans to other types of expensive debt. Of course, the most uh, expensive types of, uh, of debt you know, lie in the, in the very subprime space, payday loans, for example. Those are not well covered by the traditional bureaus, um, but uh, there is uh, some cause for optimism that, um, uh, that uh, alternative bureaus are gonna be able to provide the type of coverage we need to be able to do Bolt or something like Bolt for even more expensive types of debt. Um, and, uh, and the approach here is to use, uh, is to use results as they come in, both qualitative and, and quantitative, to uh, refine uh, both the design and, and, and the marketing of the, the, the product to make it uh, more effective and more scalable going forward. Thanks.